Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. We're currently in the process of trying to rebuild our form and also rebuild our bid for the title this season. And in our quest to do so, in our last game, we managed to get a 3-1 win. Although we did really make it hard for ourselves. When you're not at the top of the table anyway, the only way is up. And today, in our bid to go further up the table, we are playing against Mottingham Forest. A team in which last time we played them, we put 11 goals past them whilst conceding two. However, as I always say to the boys, every game is different. They might have different players now. They might have rebuilt their squad. So it's going to be interesting to see how today turns out. But yeah, let's check in with the UTR gang. First this weekend, and we have Tommy Waller, who just, he's, I think he's expressing a bit of frustration. He said he's been sat waiting. And I do have to apologize to you guys because I was trying my hardest to get Sunday League out for you. Although this week it came out four or so hours later than it usually would. Tarang says, great progress getting the W this week. Jamie really proved to be an incredible signing. Watching on the phone from New Zealand. Keep it up. Aaron says he's just woke up and it's time to watch the best thing on a Sunday. Love that, Aaron. Also loving the little Kaneki image in your picture. If you know, you know. Millie says, well played, UTR. Watched the game, played well and love to see you playing on the pitch next to me. That is actually quite funny as well. From last week, they were playing in the background and we also got to take a picture with them. So that was pretty cool. Assad says, watching from Pakistan, best of luck in the future. Hashtag UTR gang. Guys, Pakistan, UTR has gone as far as Pakistan and I love it. Thank you, Assad. Big up. And finally, we have Frank asking what the ending song is on the UTR videos, basically. A question that a lot of you guys have been asking over the past few weeks. To answer that question anyway, um, literally, myself and an artist called Shaka made a track within an hour on his series called Tribe Tuesdays. He's a good friend of mine, so he asked me to come on. Went and did that. It was a lot of fun, something I've never done before, and that is where the tracks come from. But I'll leave a link in the uh, description to the video so you guys can check that out. Time to do the lineup. In Golem we have Mitch. At right back we have Lewis. Centre back pairing today of Jamie and Sam. Left back we have Reggie. We've gone with a 4-4-2 this week. So on the right of that we have Toby playing at right mid. We've got Luke playing in centre mid. Tolu next to him on the left. And then at left mid we have Jed. Up front to start with we have Simon and Thomas. On the bench we have Kane returning from injury. We have myself. We have Carell and we've got Jamil. Yeah. You were so readable. <laughs> 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 this week then, and we are on the Astro. Uh, the weather wasn't great in the build up to this game, so our pitch was frozen. We've had to use the Astro, and that's what it's going to be today. So, Mottingham Forest in the purple, we're in the white kit, just like it was last time. It hasn't really taken us long to get the ball from them after their kickoff, as Sam switches to play for Jed. Jed then leaves it on for Tolu. Tolu plays it out wide for Reggie uh, in the left back position. He plays it into Simon first time around the corner for Jed. Jed's got the number four in front of him, cuts inside, away from that guy there as well, cuts across the pitch. Can he make space for a shot? Not really. Comes out to the nine, who might get away from Mottingham, but it's then retrieved by Tolu. Tolu holds him off, good strength there, plays it into the gap for Jed there, and uh, the four eventually cuts it out. First Brian of the game then, and it's going to be taken by Reggie. It's into the box and and the referees penalised us for a push in the back. They've got a thrown of their own. This time the ball drops down. It falls to the number seven. Hits off Reggie's head. Luke's trying to stop him in his tracks. He can't. He goes towards the box. Number seven still going. And Sam puts in a lovely challenge on him there. But they are contesting it and saying that it should be a penalty. Comes out to number eight. He goes for a shot. It's a good strike, to be fair. Straight down Lewis's throat. Let's take another look at this one. It's uh, Luke there trying to battle with the seven. He's done well to wriggle in between. He's going towards Luke's brother, Sam. Sam puts in a tackle there. And it does look like he has 
won the ball. So anyway, play continues as Reggie puts one down the line for Jed to chase. Uh, Jed has one or two Nottingham players trying to close his angle down. He plays it into Simon. Simon has uh, the number eight in front of him. Their captain goes for a dig and it's not a bad attempt to be honest. Just goes over the goal on the right hand side. But to be honest, he's made something out of nothing. This time when the ball's been lost by the number 15 for Nottingham, Thomas then picks it up. It's then gone into Tolu. Tolu's touch a bit heavy. It goes to Simon in the end. Simon with some good feet there. Simon with some lovely feet and spins away as he's won us the free kick. That free kick, unfortunately, isn't the greatest from Tolu and they've nodded it clear and it goes back to the number four for them again. Lewis tries to come across it. It looks like Mottingham could have an opportunity for a counter-attack here and they're coming forward. Number nine tries to play a pass through there. It's cut out by Toby, but he's deemed to be offside anyway, which actually wasn't the case. He was just in front of Reggie. So if the pass had gone through, they would have been onside. Well, actually not onside because the call was given against them, but they were onside. Most, if not all of our attacks so far have been coming down this left-hand side. So it's a side that clearly were trying to exploit as uh, Jed picks up the ball after Reggie's pass was loose. We've got the ball again with Reggie this time. It goes back to Jed. Jed up against the number four. He sold him a dream there. Jed goes in towards goal. He's taking a shot and it's deflected all the way in. It's a swipe from their defender. The shot was on target. So yes, of course, that goal will go down as Jed's and it's a goal pretty much out of nothing, but that goes to show what happens when you actually just shoot. UTR then, 1-0 up, and we want more goals. We always want more goals, because this is nice from Thomas, but the pass isn't, he's given it away. Number four wins that chase, and he's put it out for a throw-in. Reggie to throw this one in, it goes into Simon's chest. He's uh, put it back into Reggie's direction. Reggie up against the 15, wins us a corner. Corner to be taken from the left then by Simon, in swinging towards goal, and the goalkeeper's had to palm it out for another corner, and I don't know if Simon meant to actually shoot or something, but it was going in. Toby standing over the delivery from the right this time. It's a ball into the box. It's a good one, but they've cleared it away first. It goes out to Luke and comes uh, further back only as far as Jed. Jed gets his head up, tries to play it to Simon at the back post. The pass wasn't really the greatest, and it's behind him, and he can't control it. Mitch with that cannon of a kick then up the pitch, and uh, Thomas is up against one of their players. He's won the header for us, and it drops down to Jed. What can Jed do? Jed cuts inside. Jed makes space for a shot. Simon ducks out the way. Keepers fumbled it, but in the end, he just jumps on it. Almost 23 minutes on the clock, and not too much to be coming from Mottingham side so far as they go for a shot there but it's blocked by Luke. They're trying to build up an attack moments later as Toby gets in front of his man there and he's won the ball back for us. He then plays it onto Tolu. What can Tolu do? Pulls it back and then starts to assess his options. Got plenty of time in the middle at the moment Tolu as he pings it with his weaker foot. It's a lovely ball over the head of the number 10. Jed's in behind their defence there. Cuts inside. He slipped and he can't regain control but it was lovely initially from Tolu to try and pick out that pass. Thomas picks up the ball for us now. Ooh, 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 that is not nice at all. Stop that. Number 7 has absolutely been destroyed there with a the little swipe there. Oh, he knows, he knows. Although they haven't really attacked us, they already look more organized than last time. And this time number three picks up the ball. Tolu's gone sliding in there, goes to the number nine. One, two's been played. Referee gave the advantage in that attack as well. Comes out to the number eight, it's a decent strike. And in the end, it's a good save from Lewis. Hits back off the post, so a bit of fortune on our side there as well. But they could have made that 1-1 one, one there. So surely that's going to bring Mottingham a bit of confidence as they have a throw in on the far side. What can happen from this? They've thrown it into the box. Sam's jumping up with their pair there. And it's ended up in the box and in the net as well. I'm not sure who's gotten it. I think that might be number three for them. Uh, Mitch has been wrong-footed in the end. We've allowed it to bounce, allowed it to be in our area. And as a result, we've been punished. So it's all even at the moment, 1-1, one, one, and we've played over half an hour. Simon controls this from Toby's throw, plays it into the box. It comes to the number four, and it drops out to the Jed, who can't get the shot right. From that goal kick then, and it's played out by their keeper. Not the greatest of kicks, but somehow it's made its way all the way through. And now their players up against Sam there, up against Lewis as well, gets a bit of luck. They've still kept possession. This is nice from Mottingham. And you can clearly see they've grown in confidence as the number three tries to get his second of the game, and it's gone wide of the target. But it looks like we're a bit shaky now that we've conceded, and it's something that I really don't like to see. We need to pull our socks up then and go again as Reggie plays it down the line for Thomas. Uh, Thomas still has Reggie continuing that run into the box. Reggie continues and plays it across the box. It goes to the back post as Toby's controlled shot is just too easy for the goalkeeper to tip wide and we're going to have a corner. Taking him from the right this time, it's floated. Reggie seems to have missed time to just jump. It comes out to Tolu. Tolu tries to revive the attack but the number four has been the challenge. It's rebounded off Tolu and it will be their decision. Can we get a goal then before half time as Mottingham have clearly grown in confidence. They're trying to take control of this game in the end as uh, the ball's being picked up by Simon. Simon plays it into space for Thomas. Thomas goes for a shot. It's blocked and it hits back off his hand. So that will be the end of that attack. 
We've got the ball back in and around their area again as Tolly tries to disguise pass there into a Jed. It's cleared away and it'll drop down only as far as Reggie. What can Reggie do? He's got the number 15 trying to close him down. Reggie's also got the number 10 in front of him there. He puts one into the box across into a perfect area, but once again, we're not really attacking it and we've gotten another corner. From the right once more, and Toby delivers it into the box. Thomas gets there first, but he can't direct it. They've got the ball inside our half now. It's this guy's picked it up and he seems to just be making ground at the moment. I'm not sure why no one's really putting a proper foot in on him. And it will come out wide for another Mottingham player. It comes out to the 11. He's gone for a strike, but Mitch will eventually deal with it. It's up in the air and it's a contest between the, the number 17 and Thomas. 17 wins it. It comes down to Simon here. Simon looks like he's going to go for a shot. He's gone for it and it's trickled wide of the post. We've just won a free kick and that free kick is going to be taken by Mitch from just inside our half. What can we do with this one? It's flicked on by Thomas and arriving at the far post is Jed to tap it in and he's made it 2-1 to us just before half time but in that goal are there suspicions of offside in my opinion my honest opinion I think Jed was just offside but it wasn't called their lino didn't call it and in the end we benefit from that not long left before the half ends they've got a free kick they've given it away to Simon and then Simon looks like he did want to shoot but the referee has blown his whistle for half time in the end Simon still continues and shoots anyway because Simon is just Simon but we are 2-1 up, we've made it a bit hard, we haven't really played our football just yet, and we do look quite a bit flat. I didn't see anything good out there, I saw individual precedent again, the midfield and the strikers are miles apart, there's no link up in this team right now, no. it's mad. I don't know how we, we've let our standards drop so far. Boys, wake up in the second half, why are we so flat? Why are we pressing, in the, I, I don't understand this, it's, it's hurting me. So watch this, boys. Boys, we're going to have to change it because, simply put, it's just not good enough. All round. All round. Like I said before, we have to lead from the front, press from the front, set the tempo from the front. <coughs> they should, like, for the first 15 minutes, they couldn't even really get it near our goal. And then all of a sudden, we let them start seeping in and they've scored a goal. And then we're, we're panicking again. So we're going to change it. And we're going to go straight back to a 4-3-3. So hopefully we can adapt more to the game. I don't know, are they playing a three in the middle? Yeah. 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 And that yeah. nine is dropping in every time yeah. as well. Um, before you change it, just quickly, when we were playing a 4-4-2, four, four, we just needed like the times, it, yeah, because yeah, one person would do it, then the next, like both of you wouldn't do it. So if we do go 4-4-2, four, four, we just need a striker, we're playing two sit up top, in, to sit yeah. in, go on the deepest midfield every time. I know it's hard work, but we can't have two strikers sitting in. And then back four, because they got one extra in the middle, you just need us to screen yeah. your men. But we don't need you backing away. Because We've got when two they play it on the back. Yeah. So if you guys Every get time. tight, at least one get yeah. tight, I will get round and tell me and Luke to screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sorted. Apart from that, we're letting them have space. Yeah. Have you can you All see right. what we're drawing against? They shouldn't even score a goal against us. But apart from that, that's, in my opinion, <laughs> but after they scored, we did well to kick back and get a goal. So need to wake up. We yeah. woke up, so I'm I'm happy in that fact, but <laughs> The fact they scored and we were drawn against them, I wouldn't have you at all. We can still rotate it, we can still rotate it, but we're going to see how this first 15 goes as well. Because right now it's been flat. It's been coming through the middle, yeah. constantly coming through the middle. That's what I mean, so making it narrow would be better. Yeah. But like the tall one and the shorter one on the back post, he's just trying to win it yeah. and then get it back over to the other midfielders. That's all that's happening. Yeah. We need to just get the midfield, like you said, pull one in and then set pieces is all they've got really. Apart from that, um, I'm doing it a lot, but we're taking too many touches yeah. in our defending half. we got to clear it, let people, the strikers and advanced midfielders play, but we can't give these guys a sniff. It's Sunday league, it doesn't even matter the standard. Yeah. Anyone will score one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah. back four, we go back to even back seven with the midfield as well. We go back to defending first. <laughs> Energy, less touches in the middle, and then we're good. Reg and whoever's playing for back Jed, instead of going line in behind, uh, sometimes I'm free, we've been doing it. If you get to me, I can play it, just to keep it and um, take the pace off the game. Because these guys, if we pop it around, they can't catch us. Make sure you go and follow all the Under The Radar social pages to keep up with us. And also, as you're watching Sunday League right now, tweet me a picture of where you're watching it from, what you're watching it on, and use the hashtag UTRGang. Going into the second half then, and we've made quite a few changes. We've uh, subbed uh, Lewis off, we've put Jed up right back, we've got Kane at left wing, we've got myself and JJ now in the middle uh, with Tolu, so we've gone 
with a 4-3-3 at the moment and we're trying this out to see what we can get from this. Tolu picks up the ball for us now and he's got the number 15 closing him down, he's able to spin away from the number 15, obviously more agile than that guy, cuts inside, he goes for a shot this time and it's blocked. We've just picked up possession again and it's a lovely pass that fizzed in by Jamie to the feet of Thomas. Thomas is tussling with the Mottingham players here, he's driving towards goal, slipped on the ball this time but the referee's given us the free kick for the advantage. I go to take this free kick then and it's just... Uh... I'm off free kicks for a while because it's just high, wide and not at all handsome. If you know about that piece of commentary, then you, you know about the old days of FIFA. But yeah, that free kick was poor. Anyway, this time I'm able to pick up the ball and I've played it onto JJ. JJ takes a touch and fizz it into the feet of Thomas. Thomas then takes a few and then plays it into Tolu. Tolu's uh, being closed down once again by the number 15. We've got a few of our players in our own way there. Finally, the space has opened up for Tolu as he drives towards their box and he's uh, just shrugged off that number 10 there. It goes to Reggie, who's got the number 8 there. Captain standing in his way, puts a ball across the box. It's a good ball. No one really attacked it once again. Still one of our problems as I'm able to recycle and bring the ball back for us. It goes back out to Reggie. His pass is stopped and we'll get the throw. The ball's then thrown by Reggie into Thomas's feet. He's up against the number four, tries to spin and deliver the ball into the box. We'll take a corner. I'm a lot better at corners than I am free kicks. I clip this one into the box. It goes to the head of Toby. Uh, comes out to Jamie. It's blocked. Comes out to JJ and he's had a strike. It's not a bad one. He's had quite a few of those since he's joined us where he's just shot from the edge of the box and he's gone close. So if he was scoring those, it would be a very good goal. Reggie's got the ball on the far side and he plays it into the feet of Kane. Kane tries to knock it round his man. He's been blocked off and we win a free kick. Reg goes to deliver that ball into the box. It's not a bad delivery at all as Tolu goes for it and he's hit the crossbar. It's absolutely cannon off the crossbar, this one. And he's come very close to scoring for us there. Doesn't seem to be happening for Tolu. That's uh, not the first time in the last few weeks that he's hit the crossbar. Thomas picks up the ball for us on the far side. He plays a reverse pass into me. I take it past the seven, go for a shot. It's deflected and behind for another corner. I go over to take it this time. It's a, a different approach. A bit too far, a bit too deep for Sam as it looks like it got out of play. But we've hit back off then with Jamie, but the referee's given the goal kick this time. We're pushing forward again, obviously in search of that third goal. We do want more goals, as I have said before, as uh, this time Kane gets across somehow through that gap of the Mottingham players. We're going to let this one run out for a corner. Toby with the corner from the right, Travella style into the box and Tolu's header is wide of the target. Like I said, just doesn't seem to be happening for our captain Tolu at the moment. They take a goal kick this time and the ball's in the air. Can JJ win his header up against the number two? He does so but the referee's pulled it back for a foul by Tolu. He's claimed the block on one of their players. It's going to be the 17 just inside our half to clip it in towards our box and Reggie gets his head to it. That'll go out for a throw. They throw that into our box then but the number 15 has been penalised here for a high foot. We're back inside their half. Kane uh, plays it into Thomas. Kane and Thomas kind of get in each other's way there. The ball eventually comes out to Thomas. I try and uh, make space for a shot. They've closed me down. Comes out to Tolu. Goes for it first time and it's still not happening for him. Not long after then and we're able to pick up possession again. This time Thomas plays it into me. I play it first time over the top for Toby. What can Toby do there? Tries to flick it over this guy's head and get into the box but the keeper's just going to catch it. It does seem though like we have more control in this game at the moment as I played it into Tolu who's then played it onto Thomas. Uh, he's controlled it, used his body well and then played it onto JJ who seems to have lost possession for us number three picks it up and then JJ's back in there fighting that's what we love about JJ he's won us a free kick as well as the number nine has taken them down and that will be a yellow card for the number nine 15 somehow has found his way over there and the referee's not happy with that so he is also going to pick up a yellow card for his troubles and as if that wasn't enough the 15 said a little more referee wasn't happy with that and then he ended up getting himself sent off so Mottingham are now down to 10 men and that's not good for them Anyway, we have a free kick. It's taken by Reggie Lowe into the box to try and flick it around the corner, but it's gone over the bar. Mottingham are now trying to mount an attack, but JJ's bursting back and he's put them under pressure. Sam wins the ball back for us, but the referee's given a free kick here, and it's for that little tug there by JJ just on the edge of the centre circle. Somehow, though, the free kick's to be taken from the red line. It's number eight, and somehow it's found its way all the way in. I'm not quite sure what's happened with Mitch there. He did initially tell us that he didn't want a wall. He's fine without a wall. We listened to him. It's gone for it, and it's ended up in the back of the net. It also looks like he's pulled his hand away from it there, but I don't know how it's gone in. It has, and we're just all looking at ourselves like, what's happening here? Time to go again, then. We've got a corner on the far side to be taken by Kane towards the back post. Sam's arriving, and it seems he's won us another corner. You can't see it at the moment, but Toby takes his Corner from the right hand side and arriving at the back post is going to be Thomas. So he has put us back in front. It's taken us just about three minutes to take the lead once more. It's a good header uh, past the goalkeeper. No chance for them. And we are winning 3-2. Yeah, sorry about that. The wide angle camera had died. But luckily we had the other one. So we didn't miss out on the goal. 3-2. So we're in the lead at the moment. Can we make it a little bit more convincing as JJ picks up the ball for us and plays it out wide to Jed. He's uh, been uh, fouled there by the number two. Referee gives us the advantage so we get the free kick. Toby goes to take that free kick instead of delivering it into the box. Though he's played out 
out wide for Jed to deliver. It's gone into the box, deflected, and it's blocked by the number eight. We've picked up possession again, though, as uh, Toby plays into JJ. Nice little turn from JJ away from the number three as he plays it out wide, looking for Reggie. Uh, number 14 tries to close Reggie down now as he plays into Sophia Kane. Kane then plays it into me. Uh, what can I do? I try and spray the ball out wide for Toby. The pass is short and it's cleared away by a Mongum defender as it comes down to Sam and he's clashed there with the number two. The referee gives them the free kick, though. I've picked up the ball on the left now. I've got the number eight there, captain, in front of me. I try and play the ball down the line for Kane. It's uh, given away, but I've been able to win it back up against number seven. Skip away from the number seven pretty nicely there. And I've cut inside, played it into Thomas. Thomas, what can he do now? He spreads it into space for Toby. Toby plays it out wide. He's got Jed to his right. What can Jed do? Delivers it into the box, deflected. Uh, it's cleared away by Mottingham this time. We're coming back at them with Jed, who's still being allowed to attack from right back. Honestly, I hate when we have to put him there because I feel like it is a waste. But sometimes you do what you have to do. As Toby spreads out wide. I flick it over the top for Thomas. Thomas up against number nine. Thomas gets a left foot cross into the box. It's behind Jed this time. And that move once again breaks down. The ball's coming out to Mitch as he goes to smack it up the pitch first time. It comes down to me with Clash. So the referee gives that as a drop ball. It's rare that you actually do see these in football, but this time I've won it for us and I've played it into space for Tolu. Tolu then gets it onto Toby. What can Toby do? Toby flicks it through to Thomas. What can Thomas do? Can he apply the finish? He goes for it and it's trickled wide of the left post. Big opportunity to make it 4-2. Unfortunately, we just missed that time. Going on the right, Jed puts the first time cross into the box. It's cleared by the number two. It'll come out and only as far as himself. I've picked up the ball and tried to play it through the gap there for Toby. Uh, a bit too tight for him there. Comes back out and I've been able to win us a free kick just by getting the ball ahead of their captain. Jed lines up to take this free kick, but he's not going for a shot. He's clipped it into a good area, but none of our players could connect with it. A couple minutes later, and we've got a corner. It's taken by Kane. It's in swinging, but it looks like it might have been more of a shot there. Reggie's just played this into me. I've taken it on the back foot, and I've got a few players in front of me. I play it into Thomas just about. Thomas plays it back into me. I try and get a shot off there. Comes back to Toby. Toby gets it in there, and we have been given an offside, and I do think it was the right decision in the end. Pretty tight, but at the end of the day, I reckon I was offside. I thought I was offside, and we got the ball in the first place. So, Toby's goal there will not count. It's late in the game, but still 3-2, so they still do have a chance of getting that equaliser in this game. And Sam's not it there, and the number nine's been shoved there, and there is nothing given, nothing seen to be given by the referee as it just goes through to Lewis. But, I don't know, if that was my team, I might have been calling for a little something there, especially as it was so late in the game. Pretty much almost game done. We're almost over the line as this time I brought the ball in field and driving at their defence and I've played it out wide to Thomas. Number 17 has tried to block me off. Thomas goes for a shot this time. It's blocked by the four. Comes out to Kane. Can Kane get the shot off? He does, but it's straight at the keeper. So it does look like it will be a job done, but not in the greatest of fashions really by a UTR. We can play much, much better than that. And we haven't really turned up today. It was pretty dry. A flat performance, like I said, at half time. And I don't think it was really good enough. But we've got the three points. That's what matters. But we do really need to start scoring more and more goals. Before we leave, despite not really playing well, who do you guys think was our man of the match? Let me know down in the comment section below. Here's the table now. We are up to third. We are still trailing to Irith Athletic and Bayswater. Irith Athletic have obviously played three more games than us, but Bayswater are on the same. So that does underline once again that pressing, pressing concern. We have to beat them the next time we play them, which will be at our home ground. But yeah, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching Sunday League. Leave a like on it, subscribe if you are new, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I take time when I make mine I keep it real, I never fake mine On the camera in the meantime Kinda quiet when it's me time I breathe thighs in my free time So subscribe then you rewind That's how we do it when we 